Here's a noisy Dodge Ram. In order to determine if this noise is a chirp or a squeal, one method is to spray the rib side of the belt with water. If the noise diminishes or is temporarily eliminated but returns when the ribs dry out, the noise is characterized as chirp caused by pulley misalignment. The first order of business is to disconnect the battery for safety's sake. The two possible methods for checking alignment are using either a straight edge or a laser tool. For either method, the crankshaft pulley should be used as the base or reference point. When using a straight edge, various pulley flange designs can make flange alignment impossible, inaccurate, or both. A better approach is to measure from the straight edge to a designated pulley rib. In this example, the tip of the second rib in. To use this method, first align the straight edge against two points around the crankshaft pulley. Then, using a measuring tool such as a caliper, measure the distance from the straight edge to the top of the second pulley rib. Lock the caliper on this distance. Next, maintaining the two points of contact on the crankshaft pulley, proceed to another pulley, in this case the power steering pulley, and check the distance between the straight edge and the second rib on the pulley. Any variation from the locked distance to the top of the second rib indicates misalignment. In this case, the alignment is off by approximately half a rib. To use the laser tool, install it on the pulley being checked according to the manufacturer's instructions. The power steering pulley is frequently the cause of misalignment because it's simply pressed on the shaft at the factory and not installed to a stop point. So the pulley is often pressed on too little or too much. This pulley has been pressed on too far, so it's been overpressed. This pulley hasn't been pressed on far enough, so it is underpressed. The correct installation of most power steering pulleys is to have the pulley even with the end of the shaft. If the power steering pulley has been overpressed, a power steering pulley pulling tool is needed, available from most automotive tool catalogs and parts stores. To use this tool, a collar is locked around the small flange on the edge of the pulley. Then the pulley is backed off the shaft until the pulley is flush with the shaft. To correct an underpressed condition, use a power steering pulley installation tool, also readily available. Screw it into the interior thread on the shaft, then tighten the washer against the pulley until it is flush. Note that the two tools perform different tasks and are not interchangeable. Another seldom diagnosed cause of misalignment is the water pump pulley. If the water pump isn't leaking, it's okay, right? Wrong. This belt is creeping out of alignment upon acceleration. The water pump has a bad bearing and should be replaced. Here is that same water pump on the bench in a vise. Notice how much free rock is present in the pulley. In this situation, the belt is constantly pulling the pulley out of alignment, a condition that is magnified during acceleration. All remaining pulleys in the drive should also be checked. Look for damaged pulleys. Spend them, listening for a grinding sound that indicates a contaminated bearing, or freewheel, which tells you there is no grease left. Also, check for free rock. A little is acceptable, but too much means the pulley should be replaced. While the belt is off, examine the tensioner movement through its total range. Does it bind at certain intervals? Does it feel sticky? Is it locked up completely? Any of these conditions is cause for replacement. If a belt had been making noise, chances are the edges have been damaged or the ribs have been glazed, so a new belt should be installed. Often, a belt routing diagram is provided on the vehicle and on the back of Deco serpentine belt sleeves. Be careful, it's not that hard to install the belt one rib off, especially on the lowest pulley, which is typically the most difficult to reach and see. If this condition is not remedied, the overhanging rib could be cut completely off, or the entire belt could flip off. After installation, have someone crank the engine once or twice, and visually check to verify that the belt is seated correctly in all pulleys, and tracking properly. If everything looks good, start the engine. 
A properly aligned and functioning accessory drive with a new Deco belt will provide years of quiet, trouble-free service.